35 kilometers from the town of Chilau lies the ruins of an ancient tank or reservoir. It is believed that the residents of the city of Panduasnuara used this man-made reservoir for irrigating their fields as well as use the water for drinking, for bathing, fishing and maintaining their livestock. While the dam was breached in the 19th century and the reservoir destroyed, there is ample evidence to prove the might of this irrigation mall. It is believed that the reservoir was built by King Panduasdeva around 450 BCE. The Pandavava was once one of the largest reservoirs in the world and the British colonial irrigation engineer Henry Parker declared this fact in his writings. The reservoir was created by damming the Kolamunu Oya which then flooded the area creating this immense reservoir. This reservoir has now been forgotten but was created before the great reservoirs of Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa came into being. According to Henry Parker, This is the first great reservoir ever constructed in the world. There is possible mention of this site in the Mahavamsa and that King Parakramabahu I restored the tank in the 12th century. King Nisankamalla has recorded this restoration through an inscription on the sluice. The Bisokotua or valve pit is an ingenious device created and installed to dissipate the energy of the stored water. Using the vectors arising from the different water levels and thus regulating the outflow of water from the tanks or reservoirs was the method used. A large reservoir like the Pandavava utilized one and the archaeological department has conserved the Bisokotua which can be seen beside the band of the reservoir. The outlet sluice of Godasorowa is also visible on the opposite side. A little harder to spot and what would entail some legwork is another aspect of the sluices used. The Madasorowa or the mud sluice has been installed on the opposite end of the band. As the name suggests, it was a device installed into the tank band to remove the mud and silt which accumulates within the reservoir. Some of the ancient stone blocks which were installed to prevent erosion by the water current on the tank band can also be observed. These were referred to as Ralapanava. Today, nothing remains of the actual reservoir to visualize the wonder of what would have been. When the reservoir was breached in the 19th century, the colonial rulers of the time never attempted to repair and restore this irrigation and hydraulic wonder. Today, settlements and roads built all around the area would make restoration an exceedingly difficult task. In the countryside where once was an immense reservoir, the residents are now served by a collection of smaller village tanks. If you are interested, armed with a little imagination, a visit to the site will help you understand the nature of this vast irrigation project. A creation of almost two and a half millennia ago and which served the residents of the area for over 2,300 years.